And I'm, I'm going to say something. I've never said it before. Uh, um, and this is the truth, movie. I, I have no reason to lie to you. God knows I'm telling you the truth. I think all my success and fame, and I've wanted it. I wanted it because I wanted to be loved. That's all. That's the real truth. I wanted people to love, truly love me, because I never really felt loved. I wanted to become such a wonderful performer that I would get love back. I was hoping I could get love from other people. If I sharpen my craft, maybe people will love me more. I needed someone. That's probably why I had uh, the mannequins, because I felt I needed people, someone, and I didn't have I was too shy to be around real people. I love them. It's like real babies and kids and people. We make me feel like I'm in a room with people. So you thought if you became a great star, very successful, and loved by the world, your father would love you too? Mm-hmm. So you could change him that way? Mm-hmm. I was hoping I could. And I was hoping I could get love from other people because I needed it real bad, you know. If there was a children today when I was little, and I looked at my father and said, okay, Daddy, you know, Joseph, what are we going to do today? You know what that would have meant to me? You go, well, you want to go to the movies? That's great. That would have meant so much to me. He was rough. The way he would beat you was, you know, it was hard. You know, sometimes you take him, um, he'd make you strip nude first. He would oil you down, be a whole ritual. He would oil you down. So when when the flip of the um, of the ironing cord hit you, it would just you know, and it was just like me dying. And you just flips all over your face, your back, everywhere. And I always hear my mother back, No, Joe, you're gonna kill him. You're gonna kill him. No, you know, like I was like, I was I would just give up. Like there was nothing I could do, you know. And I. And I Hated him for it. Hated him. You look in the audience and he'd make a face like this. You'd go, oh, I can't mess up. He's going to kill us. It would just scare the bejesus out of you. And he'd be like, everybody's clapping. He'd be like, like, looking at you hard. Like, don't you mess up. You know, and I'm like, oh, God. I'm in trouble after the show. We hear his car coming down the drive. We drove all these this big Mercedes. And he drives real slow. Show us home. Show us home. Quick. Boom. Door slam. Everybody runs to their room. I said, sometimes I'd be in bed at night sleeping. It's 12 at night. The door is locked. He said, I'm giving you five seconds. You know, open, I'm going to kick it down. And he starts kicking it. Boom, kick it, like breaking the door down. Why are you signing that contract today? I go, I don't know. He goes, well, sign it. If you don't sign it, you're in trouble. So you would sign? I had to. He would, he was very physical. He'd throw you and hit you hard as he can. Could you begin to feel that you were like a money-making machine for him? Yeah. And I forget one day he said, you guys ever stop thinking, I'll drop you like a hot potato. That's what he said. It hurt me. You don't say that to children, and I never forgot it. We, we, we used to say to our mother, we used to say to each other, and I'll never forget this, Janet and myself, we say, I would say, Janet, shut your eyes. She'd go, okay, let's shut. i said, picture Joseph in a coffin, he's dead. Did you feel sorry? She would go, no. That's what we would do to each other as kids. <laughs> We'd like play games like that. He goes, she goes, nope, just like that. And that's how hateful we were. I go, he's in the coffin, he's dead. Do you, are you, could, are, would you feel sad? Are you crying? She goes, nope, just like that. You know? That's how angry we were with him. And I love him today, but he was hard. I never felt love from him. And he would never hold me or touch me. And how are you doing today? I'm scared of my father to this day. My father walked in the room and said, God knows I'm telling you the truth. I've fainted in his presence many times. I'll say once, to be honest. I've fainted once. I've thrown up in his presence because it's just when he comes in the room, oh, he just aura comes and my stomach starts hurting. I know, like, I'm in trouble. And now he's, he's so different now. He wants to be a better father. God bless my father because he did some wonderful things and he was brilliant. He was a genius. I just wish he had to learn that earlier. Why are you still scared of him? 
Because the scar is still there. So I'm like an angel in front of him, like scared. And one day he said, why are you scared of me? And I couldn't answer. I thought, I said, do you know what you've done? Do you know what you've done to me? I suffered a lot in that way. We could be in a movie or I could be in a department store and I hear somebody arguing at their child. I break down and cry because it reflects how I was treated when I was little. I cry, I break down at that moment and I start shaking and I cry. Can't take it. It's hard. My greatest dream that I have left I've accomplished my dreams with music and all of that. I love music and entertainment. It's this children's initiative uh, thing that we're doing. Because um, I don't care about it. I really don't. I don't care about it. I honestly don't. I mean, what keeps me going is children. Or else I would, I would seriously, I told you this before, and I swear to God, I mean every word. I would, I would just... I adore the towel. It was for children and babies, and that's, that's my real honest, and I've said it before. If it wasn't for children, I would choose death. I mean, with all my heart. Like I say to Prince and Paris, you know why I bought you this? He said, because you love me. I said, yes, that's why I bought it. They need to know that. Do you feel like God gave you a certain healing power? Yeah. I've seen children just shower all over me with love. They want to just touch me and hug me. Seems to come to me just hold on and cry and not let go. The mother take their babies and put them into my arms. Touch my baby, hold them. Touch my baby, touch my baby. And every time I talk to him, he's in a better spirit. The new healing, I'm not just speaking. I know I'm healing. Did I need to, Michael? And then he calls me back. I go, well, you better ask your dad if it's okay for you to call me. They said, Dad, is it okay if I call Michael back? He said, yes. He said, no problem. Whatever you want. Kids <laughs> always do that. And I always feel that I don't want the parents to get jealous because it happens sometimes. And it rubs fathers in a strange way. And the kids end up just falling in love with my personality. Sometimes it gets me into trouble. You know, but I'm just there to help. Believing in children, believing in, in young people, believing that God gave me this for a reason to, to help my baby. I see beauty in all our children. They're all beautiful to me. They're so beautiful and I love them all. Keep it. I want to be buried right where the children are. I want to feel safe for that way. I want them next to me. I need their, their spirit. I would love to come back as, 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 a, as a child that never grows old, like Peter can. The happiness and the joy that I see in the eyes of the children. They, they give me, they save my life, so I want to kick it back. They save me smoothly. I'm not joking. My mother, I, I don't know anybody like her. She's like a mother Teresa, very few people like that. She was pulling out of the market, right? It was a block from my house in Encino. She was in her Mercedes in this. This white guy in a car screamed out to her, go back to Africa, you n***. Just like that. It hurt me so much. From the stories of my brothers and their Rolls Royces, you know, they got to get out of the car, lock the door. When they come back to the car, they will find a key. <laughs> Some guy walked by and scraped off all the paint. Took it with black man driving it. Black man driving um, a Rolls Royce, you know. Um, I just hate... Anything to do with because of a co the color of a person's skin has nothing to do with the content of their character. Going to my show is like a religious experience because you come out, you go in one person, and you come out a different. So you had Belafonte, you had Sammy, you had Maxine Cole. People love their music, but they didn't get adulation. They didn't get the cry. And I was the first one to break the ice, to break the mold for white girls, Scottish girls, Irish girls. Cool. I'm, I'm in love with you. I want to. And, and that gave a lot of the fight press, they didn't like that. And that's why they start the story. He's weird, he's gay, he sleeps in a hyperbaric chamber, he wants to buy the elephant man bones. Anything to turn people against me, they try their heart. I've been an ambassador of goodwill all over the world, spreading this message. Do we do real the world? Children of all nations circling the huge globe. But other things are the thing about 
sex, and I want to get my hot tub with your baby and rub you all over. And but I get put, I get battered in the press as, as the weirdo. In the press, they wait, wait with knives. Really? Absolutely. They try to shred me apart because when you're the top selling artist of all time, the record that broke is you're the target. I mean, get him down, get, get him. You know what I mean? We love the limelight, and I don't have anything in common. They want to go clubbing. That's what they want to sit around and do hard liquor and do marijuana and do all kinds of crazy things that I went through. I've seen the worst, the nightmare of the human condition, the human soul, of what I would never even think a common man would be capable of behaving in such a way. Anybody else would probably be dead by now, or a junkie or something, with what I've been doing. What about jealousy from other stars and things like that? Is there a lot of jealousy? Absolutely. They admire you and know you're wonderful and great, but they're jealous because they wish they were in your place. Wish they were in your shoes. And M is one of them. Madonna. Yeah. She's not a nice. She hasn't been kind. She's jealous. Absolutely. She's a woman, and I think that's what bothers her. Women don't screen for other women, and men are too too cool to screen for women. Yeah. And I get that. I get the, the, the fainting and the, the adulation and the, the notoriety that she doesn't. She can't get that.
Do you think that they should hit where you can do Absolutely. Well, absolutely. He had to have had a lot of yes people around him who were afraid of him. I absolutely could You know, that. Even, even if you had like an hour with Hitler, you could somehow touch something inside him. Absolutely. I really believe that. I know I could. But you really think you could have gotten through to Hitler? Yes. Mm-hmm. I finally could have somehow. Yeah, I think I could have. I really do. I think nobody really talked to him. They'd say brown noters, but that's what they were. That's what he wanted, that's what they did. So would you say the best thing that ever happened to the Beatles was the fact that they broke up? I mean, that's why they had to come to because suddenly, kaboom. Yeah, the Marilyn Monroe died young. You could see her grow old and ugly. I mean, yeah. that's the mystery of those. Of course, they'd be funky and old now, and, and not, you know, you wouldn't care. So is that an argument, Michael, for you one day to say? Okay. Yeah, I would like to some kind of way disappear where people don't see me anymore at some, at some point. And just do my things for children, but not be visual. To disappear is very important. Do you want to have a long part? I think growing old is the ugliest, the, most, the ugliest thing. I want to always be youthful and have the energy to run around and play hide and seek, which is one of my favorite games. I saw it on the computer. It made me sick when I saw it. What? It's like a lizard. It looked like it was horrible. I, I don't like it. I never liked it. That's why I wish I could never be photographed or seen. And I, I push myself to go to the things that we go to. So I just don't want to look old and, and, and start forgetting. I hate to see people grow old. And when the body breaks down, you start to wrinkle. I think it's so bad. So you want to die for the night? Show you what my answer? I wouldn't eat. Took the spoon and would put it to my mouth. Really? When I get really upset or hurt, I don't eat. I go on a food. I just, I just eat. So I'm unconscious. Then they started doing it intravenously, you know. I just, my body goes down. I won't eat. I pray when I see something that's totally magnificent. How could you not see that and go, wow, and think of God?